Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Star Wars Empire at War, Thrawn's Revenge Mod 2.2 demo, and we are going straight back into what looks like another big space battle. Uh, it looks like Zinja's Empire is counterattacking over Centauri's with, uh, well, actually, not a terribly big fleet, interestingly. Look at, looking at that, that could be a lot worse. Only two actual Star Destroyers, two Luka Hulk battleships, and then a whole bunch of support ships, like six Nebulon Bs. Well, actually, te technically ten Nebulon Bs, because they've got two different types of Nebulon Bs. You've got the uh, Nebulon B2 and the Nebulon B. Six Corvettes, taking a... Clearly, t copying my tactics here, having a lot of Corvettes in their fleet to do with fighters. Three Gladiators and one Strike Cruiser. That's actually not a very big fleet. It looks a lot worse than it is. Now, unfortunately, I've only got a single Corvette there that we just started building. So we are going to lose this fight. In fact, I'm not even going to bother trying to fight it. We will just immediately auto-resolve that. Oh, we did actually take out one of their Corvettes. That's not bad. So they've retaken the orbit of Centauri's. We control the ground, although I don't have any troops there and I can't build any yet. So we need to stop them invading it. I think this fleet has got to go straight back into action. This is going to hurt, but... um, You know what? We can do this. Also, I've got... How many... Wait, wait, wait. How many... Hapen Battle Dragons? I've got 22 Hapen Battle Dragons in this fleet. Good God. How do I have that many Hapen Battle Dragons? I've clearly not been keeping track of what I've been building. Okay. Let's take this fight against the enemy. They've got a lot of support ships. You know what we could do? We could just go full Hapen Battle Dragon. That would give us a decent amount of fighters, and they're pretty good against small targets. Ooh, actually, I think that might be worthwhile. Let's see, what are they actually going to start off with? I didn't check to see if they could deploy all their forces at the start, so... Let's see what they're actually bringing in. Looks like the Star Destroyer there is there. One of the Luka Hulks is there. Now we've got a lot of fighters coming our way. Um, oh, oh, look at that cluster. Look at that cluster. I think... I'm, I'm going to do it. I, okay, this is... Uh, this is not a recommended tactic, I don't think, but I'm just going to go full Hape and Battle Dragon. They're only two points each, and they, these guys rip through shields pretty easily. Let's kind of just start dropping in Hape and Battle Dragons in a big semicircle around this fleet here. Uh, I want to come in behind the Star Destroyers and stuff, because obviously putting anything in front of a Super uh, Star Destroyer's guns is a bad idea. How many how many Hapen Battle Dragons can I actually deploy? I can, technically I can deploy 20 Hapen Battle Dragons, which is a bit insane, but we're kind of doing it anyway. Uh, and we do want some fighter cover. We've only got a couple of CR-90 Corvettes left, but let's see what they can do. Good god, that's a lot of firepower. Now, the good thing about these guys is not only how they got a decent amount of firepower, but... and also cheap. Uh, and also the fact we have 22 of them. But they do have decent fighter complements on board. So we're going to get a lot of fighters and bombs coming out of this, which I don't actually want right now. I'm trying to give you guys some bespoke targets. Um, um, I'm going to try and take out some of these support ships as quickly as we can. Leave the field open to start engaging those capital ships, but that start, the rear end of that Star Destroyer is looking pretty juicy right now. Uh, okay, actually, I can bring in one more as well. Okay, now let's get our fighters out as quickly as we can. Let's get this second line of battle dragons moving up as well. They can also engage that star destroyer if I can target it. There we go. Uh, actually, no, the second line, start targeting those corvettes because we want those dead. We want to take out their anti fighter capabilities as quickly as we can so that my fighters can get in and start doing some good work. We're probably going to lose a bunch of Hapen Battle Dragons. This is not, a, again, this is not a recommended tactic. This is not a good idea. But, quite honestly, this is just going to be fun. We've got 18 bombers. Well, there's your target, bombers. Go, f go, have, go have fun with that. You guys... Fighters, just get in there and go nuts. Quite honestly. In fact, just hunt and destroy. As long as they're covering for the uh, bombers, we should be pretty good. Okay, that Star Destroyer is really putting itself out there. Focus all firepower. Let's wreck this guy. Focus on the turbo lasers, these octuple turbo lasers. I would like them dead, because they're obviously the main firepower you get off these things. Uh, there we go. So many fighters swarming this thing, I can't actually target it very well. Okay, focus down the tractor beam. Get the rear tor 
at the rear batteries. There we go, right, switch targets. Start engaging that guy for me. All Haven Battle Dragons. Focus your firepower. They were very good for just focusing one thing down. There we go. Okay, shields and engines gone. Just start working on your weapons. Let's bring in another Haven Battle Dragon, because why not? Enemy fighters are basically not apparent at this point, which is awesome. They've still got a bunch of support ships around. In fact, these guys are causing us some issues. Okay, let's break off a couple of our ships just to focus down some of these guys. Because that's the, the Star Destroyer's down, the Victory's down. Good lord, right. Let's start dealing with some of these smaller forces. The full might of the Hapen Confederacy. Let's actually, you know, pretend we're actually commanding a fleet here and actually give some orders. What support ships they got left? They've still got a lot of support ships over here. I don't like that. Can we focus down some of these guys? There we go. All bombers. We've still got 19 squadrons of bombers. Let's start working over this guy. Take out a shield generator. Uh, all these fighter squadrons. I'm not really seeing any fighters on the field, so I guess you guys, they do have missile launchers. So yeah, start working over that Luca Hulk as well. Yeah, we go. Concentrate firepower. Beautiful. These guys, they're not really contributing to the main fights. So let's get you targeting. Uh, yeah, just basically target whatever you want. I don't think anything's going to last very long. That Nebulon B is right in the middle of our fleet, so we should be able to rip through this pretty easily. Oh, actually, it's got a shield regen ability online. Let's tar target something else until that's over. There we go. Oh, lost a battle dragon. Oh, well, I'll bring in another. And the Luca Hulk battleship is down. They brought in a second one. Oh, they did have. They had, actually they did have a couple of those. It's jumped right in on top of all my bombers and fighters, though. Look at the amount of firepower going on in that. Where are your shields? Can I see your shields? Half of your shields have gone. You've only just arrived. That is beautiful. Target that. Fighters, start working up their fighters if you wouldn't mind. Just provide cover. So hunt and destroy. How are we doing back here, lads? They got much left. Not really, let's be honest. Not really. That was a ship. That's no longer a ship. Okay, new target for all the battle dragons. This Okay, this thing's actually already half dead. That was quick. I guess you've got 20 squadrons of bombers and 20 squadrons of fighters on it. And that's going to go down pretty quick. Make sure we take out those engines, just in case they try and retreat. There we go. What else have they actually got left? They've got a bunch of corvettes running around. Which is a bit of a problem for me to chase down. I mean, honestly, the best thing I've got for that is my fighters, but... Yeah, we're going to have to start using mass fighter strikes against Corvettes, which is never a good idea. But they've kind of scattered them all over the place. Might be able to get a few of them with the Battle Dragons, but they are slower. We'll see what we can do. Let's st set, start setting a few targets here. Actually, it might just be those three. I think there's just three Corvettes left, so... We'll see what we can do. Um, and I would like to break off a few fighter squadrons. Yep, chase down whoever this is. Tie Raptor squadron, just get rid of them. You have sat out the entire fight, so just start moving up as fast as you can. Beautiful. There we go, you've wandered a bit too close to the fire, my friend. <laughs> As did that TIE Fighter Squadron that just got annihilated by bombers. If we can get enough torpedoes into this thing... Yeah, even dedicated anti-fighter ships will melt under this amount of bombers. 
Look at that. Good lord. Let's try one of these battle cruisers. I'd very rarely use these guys. Oh, they do actually get fighters of their own. Interesting. Okay. Got my own fighters moving into cover. How are you doing this? You are getting through the shields pretty quick. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, you guys can come up here and just yeah, start working over that for me. Uh, I'm about to lose my voice because there's been a lot of talking in the last 20 minutes. And if you hadn't realised, I've been very ill for a while. So talking is not something I'm good at right now. I think that... That is the last thing we need to kill on the map. Damn, that entire fleet went down. Now, we did lose some Haping Battle Dragons. But I think we survived that okay. We only lost two out of the 22 I had. Good lord, and look at all that stuff we killed. Okay, Haping Battle Dragons? I'm okay with that. That works for me. Uh, right, I need to get this... Yeah, you need to head back over there. Okay, there's not a fleet there, thank god. That would have been bad. Okay, we want to take Comlimex. Um, and we also still need to take Comkin and Corsin, so I can free up some of the forces back here. I was moving around, yeah, I was moving around some ground forces, um, just to reinforce the fleets, because I think we're going to take some casualties doing this. Space battle at Colimax. Ooh, hello. Did someone just do something very silly? Yes, someone did. That looks like Zinja's Empire has decided to move in with a bunch of ground forces, Holy crap, nine A6 Juggernauts and six All-Terrain Tactical Enforcers. That's an expensive amount of stuff. Quite honestly, that is an expensive amount of stuff. Okay, we need to rip that stuff to shreds, which I think might be another job for the Haven Battle Dragons. Again, these are going to be small targets. I don't get to choose my fleet because I'm defending. Crap. Okay, they're going to be up there. Everything we've got needs to start moving up here immediately because they are going to try and retreat from this. So we'll move everything individually, if we can, so they move at their own kind of best speed. Yeah, dread see, like, Dreadnoughts are slow. I don't want the Dreadnoughts slowing everything else down, so let's give individual orders to as much stuff as we can. Just need everything up there, though. Even fighters would be good against this. They've got no defences. This is entirely at our mercy, if we can get there quickly enough. Okay, everything is moving out. Um, let's see. You're the only ones that actually have a speed boost. You know what? Even CR-90 Corvettes should be able to take out a few of those things. A-wings are moving up, fortunately. A-wings, interceptors, okay. Oh, look at that. Look at those targets. That looks beautiful. Uh, okay, who's getting close? You guys. Go for something that looks big, like one of those all-terrain transport barges. Tie interceptor here. For the Empire. For the Empire. I copy, sir. Targeting. They are moving around, so we need to start swinging ships around here a bit. There we go, the CR-90 is getting in range, and they're actually doing a surprising amount of damage against these small ships. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All my fighters starting to come in now. Looks like some of our capital ships are getting in range. Beautiful. Let's start targeting some of the far away ones. So they start chasing them down. Need more fighters, damn it. All fighters, move up this way. Capital ships should be able to take out these ones close by. Why aren't you guys moving? I thought I gave orders to everyone. Oh, 
Ooh, that was an expensive amount of ground forces to lose in a space battle. Good lord. That has got to hurt. That has got to hurt a lot. Nine A6 Juggernauts and six all terrain tactical enforcers. Good lord, that's got to hurt. Uh, right, well, they clearly want to try and invade this planet, which I guess I want to do. This is going to be a messy invasion, but we are going to try and go for it. So let's move our forces up there. With any luck, we're we'll going to do this invasion without getting counterattacked ourselves. I don't want to have this army sitting in orbit when an enemy force arrives. So let's go in for it. What are we seeing? Uh, it's not a terrible force. Oop, no, 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 that's not the planet I'm trying to look at. Thank you. There we go. Okay, no idea of the base layout. We know they've got, they've built a lot of buildings here, so they could have a lot of ground support. Uh, they could have a lot of light factories and barracks and stuff, just pumping stuff out. And they do have a garrison. We saw at least all-terrain armor transports as part of the garrison, so this isn't going to be an easy fight. We might rely on bombardments and bombing runs a lot. I'm thinking. The enemy is approaching. Although, have we got the the local population is on my side? Ooh, that is always useful. Right, let's use you guys. You guys can capture these points for me can I help? quickly. I don't know why you've already where you've started off damage. That kind of sucks, but okay. Uh, you guys, what are we actually facing down here? T16 Skyhoppers. Interesting. Okay, let's gather you guys up and try and do this. Obviously, civilians are not very useful. The militia forces you get, they are pretty crap. But we'll see what they can do. Uh, and you guys, now. What do we actually want? I think we're going to want some heavy tanks. Right we're going to want some plex troopers. Way, and more plex troopers. And maybe some light tanks. Those are just sitting on the ground, which is a bad idea. And you guys are doing zero damage to them, which is not what I wanted. Uh, all terrain anti aircraft walkers. Yeah, they're going to be a problem. They're good against infantry and aircraft. Uh, you guys... Oh god, they've actually got a lot of them. And they've got TIE Fighters. Ooh boy, okay, that's actually going to be messy. That is going to be really messy. Can you guys even do anything against these guys? And they've got transports as well. Crap, I should have brought in some anti-aircraft stuff. If we're facing TIE Fighters. Okay, move down there as quickly as you can. I need to get more reinforcements. There's one of the all-train armored transports. You guys are slowly getting through these T-16 Skyhoppers. I don't know why they've bugged out and aren't doing anything, but I'll take it. Yeah, we're going to lose a lot of these buildings. We're not going to have civilian support for very long. That kind of sucks. If you guys would, wouldn't mind shooting stuff for me, that'd be grand as well. Sorry, you know, you're here to help. Maybe actually do something. Just focus all firepower on that for me if you can. I know you're going to die, but... Just, just try shooting something. Maybe it'll help. Okay, uh, you guys shoot an all-terrain armor transport up the butt. You guys suicide charge it from the front. Going to capture a second point here, which is going to come in very handy. We can get some of these... Uh, what are they? The T-1Bs. Anti-aircraft platform. Yeah, I need some of those. And I think... I'm going to bring in a unit of those as well. Need to be able to deal with that all-terrain armor transport. You guys are actually doing the surprising amount of damage to it. I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, they've taken out most of the buildings, though, with their air support. That is problematic. Let's get some more infantry, because they can shoot down area vehicles. More troopers. Okay, I think what we've got here is going to have to do the job, so... You are going to be my problem. What I want is to wait... If I can actually wait for you to turn around, that'd be grand. Yeah, turn around to engage those guys. I'm going to bring everything in to attack you while you're facing the other direction. Although that TIE Fighter does concern me. We actually... Oh, no TIE Fighter is down. Okay, everything we've got needs to engage this with maximum firepower. And you're down. Perfect. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well. Uh, what have I got down here? I've got something that's stuck. Oh, that's infantry deploying. Oop, something exploded up here. Fine. Uh, they've almost certainly got turbo laser turrets, so what are we going to try and do about that? I don't know. Uh, bombing run and bombardment are still both quite far away. Oh, there's their lap. Thank you. Get rid of that. 
so they've got control of that point up there. I don't know why they're taking it. It's not a bad thing to do sometimes when you're on the defensive. If you take those points, they can't be used against you. And it takes longer for you to get them yeah. back because you've got to uncapture them first. So you can try and slow down the enemy. Okay, how many civilians have I got left? I've still got a fair few ma civilians. Can I get you guys to go over here and capture that for me? Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, you got this. These two infantry platoons are gonna have a bad time here. Uh, what have I got this fast? Yeah, I need you guys over here to deal with this before that infantry are direct. Which is happening alarmingly fast. Can you guys move around quickly? Yes, you can. There we go. Okay, you guys move back here. Provide cover to each other. You should be able to capture that. I don't need the ground reinforcement points just yet. Although I could get some X-wings in. That might be useful for scouting and bombing runs. Yeah, actually, I'm going to get some X-wings in. We'll bring them in down here. Okay, you guys hold out there. Should be fine. Let's start repairing as well. You guys have captured that for me. Which means I can now use you for scouting runs, so I'm going to have to suicide them up there, unfortunately. You can just pull back a bit and see where we can get a bombing run or something in. Ready Meanwhile, X-Wings. You actually have a pretty good view range, so I want to poke into the top bottom side of here and just see what we can see. Without you guys getting shot down by a turbo laser turret. That'll do. Pull back, pull back, pull back. There's the power generator. That's got to be our priority target. As soon as we take that out, these turbo laser turrets are unpowered, and that is very good to me. Something is behind our lines over here. Don't know, don't care. Oh, okay. Yeah. Turbo laser turrets. Yeah, lots of tanks. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a big problem, actually. Uh, X Wing, we're going to put you in control group one. Let's have you move around here. You might, If they sortie out with some of these tanks and stuff, I might be able to get them while they're away from the power generator. Oh, what's that? Hang on. Uh, that is a single stormtrooper. Well, it seems like overkill. But let's have the X-Wings go on in this poor single stormtrooper, good lord. Okay, that guy just got murdered. Alright, bring you guys back down this way. That bombing run is almost ready. Now, my only concern is where my bombers are going to spawn from, because if they come from here... Actually, no, that should be a clear run. As long as they don't fly in from this way. If they fly in from that way, they get taken out by basically every turbo laser turret they've got. But let's see what we can do here. If we can disable the turbo laser turrets, it makes my life a lot easier. Why are you following the roads this time? Previously you flew... Yeah, don't, don't, you, you're not vehicles, you don't have to follow the road. Get off the road, there we go. There's turbo laser turrets up that way, and I don't want you flying into turbo laser turrets. That should do the job. Right, bombing run on that target, please. X-Wings, get out of there, before you do run into a turbo laser turret. And the bombers are coming in from this way, which means they should have a clear run. They should be able to take this out without getting engaged by anything. Closing on target. And it looks like we pick up a saber tank as well, for good measure. Okay, their turbo laser turrets are down. That clears up a lot of the trouble for us. Now, we've got a bombardment coming up soon as well, and I've got some more oh, civilian sir. volunteers. Can I go? Can I do you know what? I think you guys can do something for me. Oh, Scout up that way and see what the defences are like. If I don't have to waste ground troops, I won't. So we use the free stuff we've got, wait for the bombardment to come online, and then see what we can blow up. Because our the rebel bombardment is actually pretty goddamn good. So this might open up a huge area for us to attack through. We know they've got a lot of defences around this area, though. I'm not sure what's going to be up here. Obviously a couple of disabled turbo laser turrets, but they might have some other stuff for us. Okay, yeah, you got a bit too close there. Oh well, that was my fault. Uh, if you can pull back and do, Bombardment is not ready yet. Saber tanks, yeah, they've got... Bombardment around that area, just wipe out a whole bunch of stuff, would be pretty useful. Um, okay, they are pushing a lot further than I thought they would. Can we pull back? I will. If I can kill those guys with this actual army, I will. Yeah, let's move down and take out these guys quick. Oh, 
Okay. We should be pretty good. Uh, did I lose all the civilians? No, I've got more civilians. Okay. Yeah, come back up here. I need you to do more scouting for me. Just need to wait for that bomb bomb to come ready, and then we'll blow open this hole and move the army up through there. Otherwise, we'll have to fight for a choke point, and that will uh, right suck pretty badly. Ah, god damn it! I thought that was far enough away. Oh well. I've got more civilians. I mean, uh, militia volunteers. We're not throwing civilians at enemy guns. This is not a. This is not. We're not. The, we're not that bad, guys. Okay. Okay, kind of, kind of now we are, but that's fine. They uh, they know what they're sacrificing their lives for. It's fine. Uh, I need them to get as far forward as they can. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Oh god, look at all that stuff. That's a beautiful cluster there. Damn, I could use a little bit more view range, but you know what? That'll do. Rain fire from heaven on them, please. Oof. Perfect, and we should have that structure as well. I'm okay with that. All right, let's grab all of our ground forces, and we're going to attack, move through the breach we've just made. Uh, not the X-wings. The X-wings are. I'm just going to keep the X-wings safe for the time being. I don't want them getting shot down. They've got a lot of those all-terrain and the aircraft units, and that concerns me a bit. No point throwing away a unit against air defences when you know they've got a whole bunch of air defences. Now what I want to check for is... Oh Christ, okay, well apparently that. That was not what I was looking for, but I'll take it as a target. If we could just shoot that with everything we've got, please, that would be lovely. Seeing a lot of missing laser fire there. Oh, the rain, damn. Yeah, the rain is actually going to cause us some problems here, isn't it? Yeah, we, we actually can't hit much of anything because of the rain affecting our laser accuracy. And they've got a lot of units around here. Luckily my Plex Troopers are actually still going to be able to do some good work. You know what, if you want to just march into the middle of my unit, then uh, feel free to die. You just ran over some of my guys, which I think is pretty rude. Okay, you got to take out this guy because he's fairly anti-infantry. Okay, I saw a production facility up this way. Is that another... Oh god, they've got another one. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Do I have another... I don't have another bombing run available yet. Okay, pick off some of the weaker targets, if we can. Luckily, those rockets pierce through shields. are actually able to do some pretty good work against those saber tanks, but... They've got a lot of production buildings up here. I need to take those out. Oh, and they've got a turret there as well. God damn. Is that anti... That is anti-vehicle. Can we kill that quick? There we go. Uh, Saber tank. Can we kill that as well, please? I need those rockets to go through the shields. Fire the goddamn Plex rockets. God, they take ages to reload. Okay, switch to guns. There we go. Jesus. What was that? That's a pod walker. And another ATST. Okay. You know what? I've got a bombing run available. Let's take that out just right now. Uh, yeah, I said I wasn't going to try and take casualties during this, but we've ended up taking quite a lot of casualties. We're going to have to pull back. Ah, oh, damn. They did take out another one of our units. Okay, the bombers should be able to take out Hopefully the all-train armor transport and at least the advanced factory so they can't build any more. Okay, you're very badly damaged. The facility is destroyed. That's fine by me. This cluster of stuff down here I don't care about. What I need to destroy is this stuff up here. Can I get my civilian volunteers to maybe help work on that? Could you guys just attack up that way? Uh, X-Wings. We took out most of their ground support. So the X-Wings might actually be able to do some good work against the... Uh, all train armor transport, especially as it's so badly damaged now. Maybe we can get a big bit of Rogue One style uh, X Wing versus all train armor transport. 
You know, you don't have to fly in front of it. If you could not fly in front of it, that'd be grand. No, no stay behind it. Did I lose both? What the hell? Okay, they had more defences over there, apparently. Oh, they had Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, there go the X-Wings. We're not doing very well on the whole. I'm going to keep all this stuff alive, am I? Uh, uh, more heavy tanks, I think. And, you know, maybe that heavy tracker as well. That's got a big turret on it. I like the big turret on that. Uh, I've got a repair dude somewhere, haven't I? Can you repair up those vehicles for me, quick? You guys actually pause and just gather together. I need you guys all kind of in one group. Okay, let's try and move up. If we, these guys could take out one of those production facilities, that'd be great. Because that all-terrain armor transport did look to be pulling back, so... I'll take what I can get right now. What the? Okay, that's not where I thought you were, but fine. These guys might actually be able to take you out because you are so low on health. Perfect. Right now, take out some of these. Take out some of these goddamn production facilities. Oh god, pod walkers. Uh, bombardment is a long way away away from being able to help us out. You are very slowly all getting repaired. I've only got one. Yeah, I've only got one repair guy. No, I've got two. Hey, you get up there and help. I want to wait for those heavy vehicles. I need those. How are you guys doing? You're actually doing pretty well. That pod, those pod walkers are not doing a very good job. They do have more air support. Sorry, I had to pause the recording quickly so I could cough. Uh, this episode is running on a bit longer. I, my chest is a lot better than it has been, but I'm uh, still not used to being having to talk for this long. It's been a couple of weeks since I've really been able to talk very much. Okay, I want to wait for these vehicles to get repaired. Let's move you up to make sure that everyone's getting the full benefits of all this. It's a shame you can't tell them which one to kind of focus on, but I'll take what I can right now. At least we took out that all train arm transport. They might have another advanced factory over here, which would be a problem. So they might still have more at ads. Civilians? Yeah. Group up down here again. I'm just going to keep sending in waves of these civilians. Not that there's... I say waves. There's like six units left. Everyone else is dead. Their homes have been destroyed. And everything's been burned down. But hey. They're doing good work. They're fighting the good fight. It's okay. Let's get these units repaired. And... I think we're just going to have to charge straight back in again. At least the defences up here are pretty much... Taken out as well. We do have a bombing run available, which will work in my favour. In fact, I could use that against both of these production facilities up here if I can get these guys in line of sight. Which I think I might do, because we'll have the bombing ready well. The bombing will be ready soon as well, and we could use that over this area. Come on, get me line of sight on something. Just ig don't ignore that stuff. I just want to get line of sight up around this area and just drop it right in the middle. That'll have to do. Uh, bombers are coming in from this direction. Hopefully, there's not an anti-aircraft unit over this way. If there is, that will be a bad thing. Looks like they made it through. Oh, oh, Jesus. Wow. Wow, that thing wiped out the entire squadron with one shot. That seems a bit overpowered. Okay. No more bombing runs, I guess. Lucky we were able to take out that generator, otherwise that would really suck. Good lord. Okay, let's do this the old-fashioned way, I guess. We'll just have to bring all the troops up. At least all my heavy vehicles are repaired now. I'm going to switch you guys over to... Rockets for the time being, because they pierce shields and they've got longer range. What have you got? Sensor ping. Ooh. Oh, wow, that's useful. Okay. What can we actually see? Nothing. Okay, take out these turbulence turrets. Let's go. We're right behind you. And infantry, the civilians, just keep doing your usual thing of running up there and dying for me. Okay, kill that thing for me, because that's what keeps wrecking my stuff. That factory is destroyed, I believe. Yep. Take out that turbo laser turret. 
And what have they got up here? That is an anti-vehicle turret. Um, I wonder, can I outrange that with these rockets? Yes, sir. If I outrange that with rockets, that'd be really good. Apparently not. But I have enough firepower, I can destroy that quickly enough. Alright, come over here, destroy whatever's left of these buildings. Before they keep popping out more units. Got the, uh... I don't know if... The, is the line of sight reduced because of the... No, I think the blasters are better. I'm not sure if the line of sight is reduced because of the rain. I feel like I can't see much. Like, at all. And apparently that was it. They didn't have any production facilities over here. Okay. Man, we took some heavy losses in that fight. More than I wanted, but most of it was infantry. I think we lost... Yeah, we didn't actually lose any of the heavy tanks. We lost the T1Bs and the T2Bs. Uh, and the X-Wings, of course. But they did have a lot of, you know, defences here. That escort carrier is where the fighters came from, so... Okay, good lord. Um, I'm going to leave a couple of units behind. Not that many, though. So we'll leave... Yeah, you guys can just stay behind and hold the planet. You guys fall back somewhere safe behind the lines. You right guys away. can reinforce that. And I think I'm going to take a break here, because, man, that was a long episode, and I need to go clear my throat and have a drink of water. But I believe the Greater Maldrude has now been defeated. We don't get a pop-up saying that is the case, but I'm not seeing any other planets under their control. So it looks like it's just Zinji's Empire, and possibly another faction under the corporate sector up here? I'm not sure. Either way... We've defeated some pretty big fleets in this area recently, so they can't have many ships left. What I do want to do is clear up these Grand Invasions here. Um, they'll probably be fairly tough because they've had plenty of time to build up ground forces on those planets. It's one of the bad things about leaving stuff behind to uh, just, you know, barricading... Uh, not barricading... Uh, words. Blockading them from orbit like this does work, but it doesn't stop them building ground forces, so you can actually have a long, hard fight in front of you when you have to face against stuff like this. But I think for the time being, we're going to leave it at that. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, I'm going to see you all later on for the next one of these. Bye.